once again a pretty good week as you can tell by the amount of tabs we have open so we're gonna um, pretty much jump right into it there's nothing else that i can think of that i want to mention other than what has sold so starting off with a wagner flexio 3500 sold it for 60 dollars plus 20 ship and uh, i've had quite a bit of interest on the flex on the 3500s over the last week i know i was messaging with like two or three different people and i know and uh yeah because it was i know with it one of them there was a guy someone i had sent an offer out to there was another guy asking me to come down on the sh um if i could go lower on the shipping and then there was a third person who ended up buying it so um there was a lot of interest and i had two more so i listed the other one and um i was talking and the guy who sent me the message about the shipping he wasn't um he wasn't the one i sent the offer to and obviously i had sold it um so i told him i have another one that i want to, another two that'll be listing and um once again he was asking me you know what what was the best i was going to take um because i was going to list those for 65 because they were a bit better shape this one as you can see is a bit um it's a bit used here on this on uh, the main sprayer so i priced it down the five bucks uh but, you know he told me what the best offer was i told him the best offer would be 55 which is what i sent which is what the offer was on this one um and of course i listed it and he didn't buy it uh, i didn't never you know never responded i've been noticing that more and more lately getting the facebook message the facebook marketplace treatment of people asking questions making offers and stuff like that and then disappearing so um any, anyways like i said someone else came in and bought it and i listed another one and someone else bought that as well and then i have the other one is listed at the moment that surprisingly now i have no interest on so um is what it is but um it's also great because it's all profit now all the paint sprayers that are left are pure profit that palette is paid for uh the second uh home depot paint sprayer palette all covered now air the whole stack of paint sprayers i have is all profit plus whatever other um things are lying around from that palette so that's that is a highlight uh next sold only a couple deodorants this week um there was i think one double order and then there's like two or three single orders uh so nothing you know not a ton but it is a, a pretty steady seller and actually i did get a return of one of these of a uh, did get a return of deodorant as well today um i know there's one guy who sent me a message about um how he didn't like it um didn't realize it was it is didn't realize it is what it is and not um whatever other one he uses i don't know i didn't pay attention that much to it because it was kind of you know what what am i supposed to do with that information that's a you problem so um but like i said i did get a return the guy did actually send it back and i sent him his his money back which he'll get about half of because he had to pay the return shipping which was 13 dollars. i noticed it was almost 14 bucks because i hate this priority mail return service nonsense uh, i wish there was a way to change it apparently there's a way where you can like use your own label and send it to them i don't know i don't because i was trying to look up on you know look on youtube if there was any videos on how to change the um, you know change it to use like a ground advantage label so obviously it'd be cheaper for the buyers and myself and uh, i was just getting where you can sh you can use your own label which i i've never seen that on a uh on the return details i i guess i'm just not looking in the right spot or whatever uh but anyways i still have a ton of the deodorant as well i'll be updating this the numbers here pretty soon all right next is uh this philip sonic care 6100 uh toothbrush sold it for 50 bucks free ship guy sent me um i think was it a counter offer to my offer i think or a message whatever it he bought it for 50 bucks and then there's another one of the 6100s uh this one was the black one for 40 bucks 
because uh, I think, because this, I don't know, seems like it's 60 might have been too high for being open box, but then 40 seems like it's too low. Um, anyway, actually it is too low. I probably should have put it at 50. Actually, that's what I put the, I had another one that's what I listed it at was 50. So, we'll see, because I only got one more that I just listed today, and then there's one other one, uh, but that's going to need some, I mean, it, technically I could probably sell it as it is, but uh, the charging base for it is, um, you can kind of see it's, that's that's the charging base right there. Um, the charging base is 30, I can tell that they probably switched it out, um, but I did see on eBay for like 17 bucks I can get. Um, a new one, which I very well may do, just to sell it, so I can, you know, call it new open box, although I'm not really sure it's, it's worth putting the $17 in to get 50 for it, um, I don't know, for that, I might have to ask, like, the 60 and kind of see what happens there, uh, anyways, next is this Philips Norelco, no, Norelco Body Groom Series 7000, Shaver, 40 bucks on that. This one was new. Um, it technically, I technically opened it to check that it was new because I heard something rattling in there, but I, I was able to seal it back up, so I'm going to call that new. Uh, next is this Gun 3 Oklahoma Fire, $5.99. Next is a Fisher Price 4 in 1 um, bathtub. Sold that for 45 And uh, let me tell you, these are not. <laughs> Not great to sell on eBay, because um, I only made like fifty. I think it was like fifteen bucks on it. Whereas locally, I can get twenty five for it. Um, my mom, who handles all the local stuff, you know, has been pretty easily getting twenty five dollars for them, and we're down to one, I think. Um, so I'm, I probably will end up pulling these, and um, we'll just sell them locally. I'll pretty much leave them up here unt until until the one that's here is gone um and then i'll pull it then i'll probably pull these two and we'll just sell them off locally and be done with it and uh on the fish fisher fisher price we're not doing too bad i think i still need to make i think i'm still down about 300 dollars, which is not um too bad because i do have quite a bit of products left that's um good stuff as well so i should definitely uh Make some money. Make a couple hundred bucks probably. Uh, next, Tom's River, uh, New Jersey Fire, seven ninety nine. Next was this Titan uh, Tool Paint Sprayer. Finally was able to get rid of this thing. $80 plus 25 ship. As you can see, I've listed this back in November. I mean, this was my very first Home Depot palette that I bought. This was on. I mean, it's been sitting around for a while lately. More and more to them, it's sending offers, sending offers, sending offers, sending offers. And finally, someone actually bought it at uh, full price, which was nice. Because it's been sitting around for quite a while. And as you can see, it's a pretty big box. So I was glad to get this um, off the shelf at storage. And uh, have that quite a bit of space back. I so I did have, there was one guy who sent me a couple messages on it. And, um, like I said, gave me the Facebook Marketplace treatment, sent some mes sent some messages, asked for a discount, and then disappeared. So, I was hoping I had it sold then. Uh, but nope, I had to sit around and wait on it. Oh, this one has the no returns on it. Oh, so does this one. Some of these are going to have um, the no returns, and the others will, because it's mixed at the moment. Uh, next, Wagner Flexio 2500, 27 on this one. As per usual, this one is pretty clean, but it definitely looks, I think, uh, it was definitely used, yeah. That's why I priced it down at uh, 27 Uh Next was this Fisher Price sent me up floor seat. Uh, this was, they sent an offer, accepted it, and then never paid for it. I just canceled it today, which is quite annoying because I've, I've had a lot of interest, you know, I've sent out quite a bit of offers on that, on it, and that, you know, six people have added it, you know, to their watch list, crap, but nobody's actually decided to buy it, and one person did, and then didn't pay for it. Um, same with the bath subs, you'll see that one of them, it has two sold, it's technically one, 
because uh, they bought it and then never paid for it. So, it is what it is. Uh, I wish they would finally actually fix that. So, um, next is another Flexio 3500. And as you can see, I haven't sold in the title and I have best offer on. Um, that's because I was messaging that guy, um, it, you know, hoping he would actually... Um, I originally made the listing and, you know, put sold in it because I was going to make it just for him. But then after, you know, 24 hours when he didn't respond to me, I said, screw it, and listed it and put best offer on. So if he did um, change his mind, he could, you know, submit the offer and we could do it that way. But, uh, you know, ghosted me. So uh, you snooze, you lose. Sold it to another guy. Um, this was a diff... Yeah, no, this was not on this one. Oh, no, it was on the first one. Um, the guy, yeah, it was another guy who sent me a message about it. Um, asking if I, if I was the original owner of it. And I told him no, they're from Depot Returns because he was concerned about it being clogged. Which this one was. As you can see, there's a ton of paint here. I did have to clean, uh, clean it up because it was clogged. That's for sure. So, cleaned that up and uh, got it listed and sold. Alright, next, now we're getting into weekend sales. This was Friday, you know, Friday morning. Uh, this Fisher Price Link Moles uh, sloth. Sold that for $30. Free ship. Next is a Springerville, uh, Pol Arizona Police, $6.99. Uh, another deodorant. And switching tabs here. Uh, next is a student paramedic and EMT ICCN dash ITM. I have no freaking idea. $4.99 on that one. Next was another Jurassic Park uh, Cosmetics, and I'm down to my last one. So $30 on that plus eight um, ship. Yeah, we got 12 watchers. Uh, this should sell pretty soon here. Uh, this was a Walmart clearance find from quite a while ago. As you can see, back in October is when these were listed. Uh, next was Melissa and Doug uh, Wooden play high chair sold that for $19.99 free ship not the greatest uh, but it was only going to Pennsylvania so shipping on it wasn't too bad uh, but it also doesn't help that it's got this you know bit of damage right there um, this was from Amazon pellet from the new place which I'm also uh, now in the profit on next is Norfolk uh, Virginia fire $5.99 this is from a new lot of patches uh, which is a very rare pickup these days, but I did pick up another. Um, I picked up a lot that was actually reasonably priced, which is rare these days. Um, next was this power supply um, charger for a Facebook portal. Uh, sold that for twenty two ninety nine. This one got for free. Got it in a pile of um, e waste that someone had put out to the curb for the town. Uh, when I was going around trash picking, and um, the Facebook portal, it lit up and everything too. It was fine, but uh, the problem is, is it's connected to um, obviously the original person's Facebook, and you can't add another account without alerting them. Um, you know, they have to approve it, so I just said, screw it, I'll sell the power supply off of it and just um, scrap the, the portal itself. I guess I could maybe sell it for parts, but anyways, I just don't want um, I just don't want it floating around out there. With their, um, you know, with their information on it, so I'll probably, like I said, just end up scrapping that. But hey, twenty three bucks for the, the power supply, and it's sold in like two days. is pretty good. So I didn't even leave my desk. I didn't even get to put it away in the file cabinet. Uh, next, this Green Fire and Rescue in Ohio, six ninety nine. Next was a, another uh, Wagner Flexio twenty five hundred, twenty five dollars on that one. Um, next was a uh, Nike Air Jordan golf hat. Uh, I got this online arbitrage at Dick's for 14 bucks. Sold it for out on offer twenty six ninety nine. dollars This actually is going international. This went is going to the UK, which is uh, pretty cool. I mean, they paid, like I said, it was twenty six ninety nine free ship. They paid $40 to get this uh, overseas. So, works for me, this technically is part of the weekend sales that came in uh, this morning. I just didn't get it packed up till now. 
and actually I kind of wish I would have bought more of these and uh because I'm not making a ton of money like four or five you know three four dollars uh but this definitely would have been a good volume play uh but it is what it is um I, like I said I'm always a bit hesitant of dropping large sums of cash especially on hats um that are not quick movers uh, I'm trying not to tie up too much capital um in inventory at least for a while there because the money was not coming in like it needed to to be tying up um tons of money in you know slow moving inventory but uh this was a nice um bread and, bread and butter lead as well and then last thing another flexio 2500 for 27.99 uh plus ship on that one all right so that's it for this account we'll switch over to the other account real quick uh, only a couple of things, but this was a good one. Uh, the Spartan Mosquito Protect Insect Repellent Devices. Uh, as you can see, it's a lot of seven, and they each have, each box has two tubes in it. Uh, sold that for 140 bucks free ship, and this was something I got last year. Uh, it was way back in I think like August. It was a long time ago. Now got it uh, Home Depot clearance when we were. I want to say, yeah, it was back when we were setting up the storage units. I was checking out the clearance aisle one of the couple times we were at Home Depot getting shelves. And I seen these. I forget what I paid for them now. I had I found the, I had to find the receipt for when I ran the numbers. But I got them obviously cheap enough to where I, I was pretty sure I could flip them uh, come next year. Or, you know, maybe or hopefully sell them last year. And I figured by next year these would sell. So I'd say these are definitely a bolo if you can find them cheap enough, like on clearance, and just hold on to them. Um, I ended up making like 30 bucks. I mean, it went to California, so the shipping kind of blew on that, but um, I still made a couple. I still made some bucks. Because I had seen a comp last year, you know, where someone put, had a big lot like this, and it sold for quite a bit of money. Uh, because I didn't couldn't really find a good box to put, like, two box, you know, to, uh, do a two-pack of them. Um, cause that's how most people sell them is either singles or in a two pack. Uh, I couldn't find a good way to ship them. So I said, screw it. I'll put them all together and just wait out for that long-term buyer and just sell them all at once. But this one was interesting cause I got a message with the order. Um, if it, you know, if this was going to be like sent from Amazon, cancel it. I'm not an Amazon buyer. Um, I sent him a message. If no, I'm not an Amazon, you know, I'm not drop shipping it. I do actually have the products in hand. Um, so they were happy with that, but <laughs> that's, uh. An interesting one that they don't want it to be drop shipped from Amazon, which actually makes me want to check to see if it's cheaper on Amazon, you know, and, I just, and not drop ship them. I'd have them sent to me, uh, but if it was possible to flip them that way. Anyways, that's enough about that. Uh, next is Knoxville, Tennessee Police, four ninety nine on that. And then the last thing was uh, this Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation at seven ninety nine, which as you can see, this is doing pretty good. Twenty two available. 17 sold seven people have it in their watch list two in their cart and this is a been a pretty good patch that i got in the one of the one of the two giant lots of patches that i bought quite a while ago last year all right so that is it for the sales over the last week they were pretty good hopefully we'll that will continue into this week i'm hoping to have on some new inventory this week um just spice it up into the these paint sprayers because i'm kind of uh running a bit low on you know a diversity of inventory not just paint sprayers although i do have a little bit more of that hba pellet to finish off this week as well so we'll see what the pellet price pellet place has for wednesday and saturday um, until then, we'll see you guys next week.